Osha Ginsberg. Welcome to the Wine O'Clock Show. It's Friday, it's five o'clock. It's time to wind down from the week that was. Welcome oh, to the couch. Thanks for having me, ladies. It's thrilling to be here in your home. I'm sorry I, I didn't dress for well, the occasion. Well, you've just come off of Fiji, so, you I, know. Look, it's, it's, it's the off- Contrary to popular belief, I don't go through the life in a beautifully tailored three-piece <laughs> suit, uh, shaven with four foot high of hair, with counting roses. Yeah, yeah. I, was right. just, you know, oh, I should just be able. Yeah, yeah, here you go. I should just be able to rain yeah. man. I only count them. I don't touch them. I should just be able to rain man that and go like twenty six roses. Well, I can't. I can't. Um, no, so this is standard this is this attire. Is yeah, but it's summer in Sydney. Mm. It's it's mm. summertime. Yeah. I'm in shorts. Exactly. Now listen, I heard a bit of a rumor that you were quitting radio and quitting The Bachelor altogether. True or false? You mean you read a rumor? I read a rumor. <laughs> Where did you read it? <laughs> uh, on social media. Yeah. <laughs> is there a lesson here? Does she know that not everything on social media is true? <laughs> if it's not on Facebook, it didn't happen. It's not, it's not real. Okay. Um, no, I'm not quitting The Bachelor. Mm. Um, they re- I think that you know the, 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 you get more clicks if you mm. think of what's mm. the most thing. That, oh, you know, yes. I think the headline was... Uh, Osha quits headline gig. Mm. Mm. Right. Uh, no, um, I had to give uh, my breakfast radio job away. I had yep. an incredible time mm. uh, two years at, at Hit 105, which was the station that I started at in Brisbane mm. uh, when I was 20. I'm 43 now, so I've been in radio since then. Mm. Um, and uh, an opportunity to host a breakfast show that was incredible, but um, thankfully, um, um, Bachelor in Paradise showed up and uh, well, not thankfully, we just like it showed up and like mm. we're not going to say no to it. Yeah. And because I have a, a family that I, I like to see when I'm awake, <laughs> um, <laughs> something had to go. Yeah. So I had to give radio away, which how I was very sad it? about. How mm. much fun are you having or how much do you love being on The Bachelor and Bachelorette? And now I think Bachelor in Paradise is Bachelor coming. in Paradise, yeah. There's, yeah. Three, there's mm. three sails on that ship now. Um, mm. It's an extraordinarily fun show to make. Uh, we have a, a great team of people. We mm. have a, a great, 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 pe- great crew of people that work on the show who are all really passionate, really care about. You know, we get to go to work every day and help people fall in love. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. We really do. That's really yeah. what we do. And mm. so that's awesome fun. Mm. But it's also great to make a show that people watch together. Mm. All right. So yeah. people watch it as a family, mm. or people mm. watch it with their friends. Uh, the photos I get of people, hey, we're watching Batchy tonight, and there's like five people sitting on a couch, yeah. all right? Yeah. And they either know each other from work or uni or, or mm. wherever, mm. or their family, or, and it's just brilliant. You make a show that people get to watch together, and, and that people who otherwise wouldn't have anything in common get mm. to talk about. And that's, you know, on a, on, a, on, a, on a kind of a macro scale, it's something that's really, I love that mm. I get to do that, all right? And that I've had a career where I've been a part of a show that's done that before and then I get to do it again mm. with, with Idol. I've got a yeah, chance yeah. to do it before. I'm really lucky, man. Mm. Really mm. lucky. It must be hard though, though the, the guys and the girls that get their hearts broken. You know, you know, is it hard for you to watch that sort of... I mean, we saw Jared obviously get his heart broken this season with Sophie and it is. It, I think it would be hard to watch that. It is... Uh, it's hard to live that. When yeah, you're there it is difficult. It. it is. I'm not going to lie. It is mm. difficult to stand there and 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 dump them because mm. I'm the one that has to dump them. Yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> you've got to go. I'm sorry. And you give the best sad face. Tam's oh. not into you. Oh. You're going to have to leave the show. All right. And that way, she gets to stay. I'm the, get a rose. Yeah, she gets to. You know, because that way she gets to stay the the, the, the good one, mm. and I'm the one that comes in and. Yeah, you know, time to go. I'm the button yeah. there. Mm. Um, it is very sad, and mm. and people often um, pay me out about the, the the you know how serious I am. But you're in the room with someone whose heart's breaking. Yeah. Yeah. you're gonna yeah. want to show it some. Yeah. You want to show yeah. it some reverence and some yes. respect. Mm. Um, yeah. mm. It is it is difficult, um, and you know. But what is it now? 2017. So. 15 years of reality television mm. has mm. possibly hardened my heart to a kind of black obsidian lump <laughs> that is less susceptible to pain than it used to be. Well, I went back on Idol on mm. the Monday nights when we oh, let people go. I used yes. to cry. Yeah. 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 Five years later, mm. I'm like, oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what was your name? <laughs> you, do, you, do learn to, you do learn to kind of steel yourself yeah. for those moments, as any person who has a job that is mm. exposed to emotional reactions mm. does. Do you have a technique for if you feel like you're welling up? 
Is there a special actor's technique you've got for... I'm not an actor. You put your hand in your pocket yeah. and pinch yourself on the thigh. I've never been an actor. Oh, right. No, I've a never presenter? been an actor. No, no. I, I, my, pres my presenter's technique, I guess, um, I think it's like anything. You know, anyone that's involved in any kind of mindfulness meditation would probably understand. You know, you just connect with the breath and you connect with what, mm. you, you know, remember mm. what it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right? And remember that, okay, so this person, they, they he or she may have you know, been behaving in a certain way, but right now they, you know, they're hurting. Mm. And okay, how can I honour that as much as I possibly can? Yeah. And that might sound like a wank, but that's what mm. I do. So mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what can we expect from um, Bachelor in Paradise? So much love. <laughs> it feels like you know you've, 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 they've plucked all the people that mm. you know are a bit. Some are a bit crazy. Some are good. Some are a bit crazy and thrown them onto the island. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use that word. I would. I would just say they are. Um, we, we've, we learned very quickly, like within, we were there for a month, maybe a bit more and we, it was very intense. We shot every day and mm. we have a hit. We knew within three days we had a hit. Wow. Oh, good. It's going to be so good. Mm. <laughs> is um, it still G rated? Am I still uh, going to be able to sit and watch it with the kids or is it we, next level? No, 7.30. Right. I believe. Oh, well, uh, that's what we were making it mm. for. I don't know yes. what they'll end up, where they'll end up putting it. That's yeah. the thing with TV. Yes. We don't know when it's going to mm. be on yeah. and they make... They're very secretive about when they're going to put what on. You yeah. know, nobody wants to show their cards first. You'll notice is when you watch the buses around town. You know, you know the moment someone has to sh someone has to show their cards first. Someone has to say the block seven thirty. Yeah. You know, someone and then as soon as they go, like oh, right now, we're yeah. going to go up yeah. against that. You know, because yeah, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. it's programming yeah. and counter programming. Mm. So mm. I don't know when we're going to mm. go. Mm. I don't know what is yeah. going on, but I, I, we made it so it would be a seven. You know, yeah, in yes. in the family zone because. Yeah. Yeah, you watch it with your kids. I, I want to watch it with I my do, stepdaughter yeah. as well. And, and I really enjoy watching yes. it with her. And, and, and it's you're really... right. There's not many shows that I actually watch with my children. Yeah. And, and that's it. I don't know about you, but occasionally mm. it does come in handy when you're having, you know, trying to talk about how boys and girls work together Absolutely. and how relationships go. Yeah. Remember when Kira said that thing to someone? They go, yes. oh, yeah. It's like, yes. didn't feel very, oh, mm. no, I didn't. Do yes. you think that, you know, not it that that happened with lessons. me. It's good for It's like mm. you don't want to be that girl or that, or that guy. guy. Or yeah. you don't want to go out with a boy that is going to treat you that yes. way. Or you don't yes. want to go out with a girl yes. that treats you that way. Oh, my God. They're mm. going to be so informed, our teenagers, aren't they? Well, I didn't <laughs> see anyone else's relationship besides my parents, you know. So mm. to be able to see a relationship yeah. on telly is really yeah. handy. Mm. Yeah. And there's helicopters. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> And high wires and, you know... Who doesn't find love... Hanging from... <laughs> that's the most important thing of falling in love. Rule number one, meet a nice person. Rule number two, find a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> now, Osha, being in the entertainment industry, this week Pink came out saying that she wants to raise her children gender neutral, mm. which is, um, you know, I, I have no problems with because I don't think that, you know, pink should be associated with girls and blue with boys and mm -hmm. vice versa. What are your thoughts on that? Um, look, we, it, yeah, really, how much time have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes and go. <laughs> look, it's Friday afternoon and you finished your work for the day. You're like, do I want to hear this guy? Okay. Um, look, allowing the kid to make their own decisions about where they sit on the scale uh, I, I, I think is is wonderful, mm. all right, and I'm and I'm thrilled for her um, because ultimately any kind of uh, you know association with either masculinity or femininity or or, or, or straight or, or not straight or, or, or there it's 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 not black it's not white mm. there's a scale as as colourful as these roses are there's a spectrum mm. of where you feel you might be and you know to then later in life go oh, hang on. I was always told I was a pink rose, but I really, this red and yellow rose, this is the one that really ticks my boxes, yeah. but everyone's told me I shouldn't like that. Mm. Then all of a sudden you're faced with a conflict for not wanting to follow uh, you know, a, a, a thing within your makeup because mm. you know, I hate to break it to you, but you kind of come out the way you come out, yeah. mm. puns intended. Mm. Um, you are who you are when you're born. And so mm. why then have to go through all that pain Mm. of suddenly realising that everything I was I was taught or expected to be, I can't be, and I'm going to go do this other thing that's frightening. You're like, well, you know, crikey, whatever floats your boat, man. Mm. Good for her. Yeah. 
Yeah. Good for her, you I know. I think as long as it doesn't get the other way, where you're so trying to be so gender neutral that you're denying a girl her femininity or a boy his masculinity because you're taking that away. But you know? why not let them define where they mm, want to sit on that scale? Yeah. Well, definitely with my daughter, from the minute she was two years old, it was pink, 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 pink. Mm. It was See, mine's her do- choosing. Totally and yours different. is exactly the opposite. She refused to wear dresses, mm. refused to wear pink. She's just tomboy through and through and we've mm. let her just you know I'm like she wears what she wants I right. don't force dresses on her I don't force her to wear pink and now that she's 13 she's starting to make her own choices about she came out the other day with a pink shirt and my son goes you're wearing pink and she goes it's not pink it is dirty pink like this you know <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> right. but you know he's saying well it's still pink but no she's making those choices now in her life to yeah dress like a girl or dress, you know, for 13 years it's been dressing like a boy and now she's decided to start dressing a little bit like a girl. Uh, and we're just like, you know, just help her along her path. Well, look, uh, it, the, not the colour, the singer, um, Alicia, I think her real name is, Pink, uh, she's a very, very clever person. Mm. And mm. I, I'm just grateful that someone who has a profile that she has, yep. and, yeah. you yeah. know, it doesn't get much mm. more, um, like the antithesis of... You know, you kind of left the inner city. We're raising our child. Gender. Her husband does backflips on motorcycles, right? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. it's, as, it's as bogan as you get, mm. all right? And mm. brilliant, oh, brilliant that that person, she is, is, is choosing to be vocal about that. I'm, I'm really happy mm. that, yes, you know, exactly. because you can choose that or you can not. Yep. But that, that yeah. is a, it's, it's a, it adds validity to that mm. choice, which mm. I'm happy about. Now, you are on the director or one of the directors for SANE Australia. Yes. And something that you're quite passionate about. Yes, ma'am. And you've talked about um, your mental health or mental issues yeah. over the last 12 months. Where in your life, like at what point in your life and your stage did you realise that you had, you know, a mental health issue? And how did you, you know, how did you get to that place of Oh, uh, look, I didn't realise, I didn't, I, I, you know, folks sent me to shrinks from, from when I was pretty young. I think mm. I went to my first psychiatrist when I was in grade one or grade two. Mm. It, was, it was pretty, mm. I don't know what was, I asked my mum once, well, why did you send me? She, oh, she couldn't quite remember why she sent me, but I was, something was up. Mm. Um, but I didn't, you know, realise that something was uh, quite not okay as, as many people mm. until I was quite well into my late twenties. Mm. Um, you know, I'd, uh, you know, like most Australian men, I've been managing my anxiety, anxiety with, you know, drugs and alcohol. You know, mm, great. Alcohol mm. especially. It's like, hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah. No one cares. Um, but, you know, it turns out self-medication is not great. No. And um, so it was about it was about 10 years ago. It was about 2007 was the first time I went on meds. I didn't get diagnosed until 2006. Mm. Um, but I tried to go without meds for a year. Mm. And it didn't work out. Um, but, you know, then a couple of years ago, I got very, very sick. And I had... Um, episodes of psychosis which i don't recommend to anybody mm. um and that was that was really really bad and so one you know i was very very lucky though that through the time of going um to those uh psychologists and psychiatrists uh, certainly in my adult years when i started going to psychologists of my own volition um i learned to challenge automatic thinking and mm. automatic thoughts and and certainly through um uh, some i'm sober i'll be eight years I don't know. No, I won't say what I will be. Like today, I'm. Set, I'm it's not even a watch. Um, uh, I'm, a, I'm, around, I'm a little over seven and a half years sober, yeah. and, and through yeah. getting sober, you learn. Uh, well, I learned at least to challenge uh, automatic um, responses to things, because like you know that was a response that old me that used to to drink to escape from emotion would do. So I might want to yell at someone or get angry at someone because they've got a they got a job that I wanted. All right. Yeah. Where's it actually? Okay, hang on. Before you yell at this person, where's that come from? Oh, it comes from. Oh, okay, I'm I'm actually scared that I'll never get that job, or mm, oh, I'm yeah. actually just jealous. Oh, 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 I'm just jealous. Oh mm. man. Okay mm. then. And then you don't yell. All yeah. right. So I'd learned to question my thinking yep. along the way. Before and reacting. Right. Yeah. I I because yeah. in in the words of Eckhart Tolle, you know, you we, there is the thinker and then there's the watcher. And so once you have that ability to understand that I'm angry. You're like, oh, suddenly you're observing yourself being angry, and then you, the anger can happen down here, or you go, well, that's interesting that I'm angry. Oh, okay, mm. then. Rather than just be f- led by the anger and just just be mm. like a fire hose with with nobody mm. holding it. So, um, I 
I was lucky enough that when the psychosis started happening, I was experiencing um, paranoid delusions, which I don't recommend. <laughs> this is horrible. Mm. This is where your brain starts to reinterpret reality. It was wow. awfully, wow. Fr- it was so frightening. Was it, I was going to say, that would have been frightening. It was so, so, so frightening. Um, I'd learned enough, like, oh, this is, you know, like when you're on a plane, right? The first time you feel like really full on turbulence mm. and then you're like, ah! and then you look around and the crew are like, yeah, so anyway, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> and you're like, well, they're not panicking. Yeah. So yeah, maybe yes. I shouldn't panic. I remember when it happened, mm. I looked around. I was like, well, no one else seems to be afraid of this thing I'm afraid of. Oh, crikey, it's me. All right. Yeah. So I, I was lucky that I knew to challenge yes, what my brain thoughts. was trying to tell me. Mm. I, I called my doctor and mm. I was sitting in my doctor's office by four o'clock that afternoon. So mm. I, was, I was very lucky. Because mm. I think uh, not only men, but a, I think all people struggle with them thinking that they have it. Not to say that mental health is a... It's not a bad thing. I think there's probably more people that would have me- mental health issues than there is not these days. Mm. And I guess they just need to acknowledge it and accept it and, I guess, um, empower it. And I just understand, I guess, you know, just understand that, you know, one in four Australians, mm. uh, you know, you might be watching this from another part of the world, but in Australia, we've got a population a little under 25 million, one in four Australians um, is affected by. In, in, this is what I know, you know like from, from working with Saint, is affected mm. by complex mental illness. Mm. All right? And that's oh, like wow. that, that's the tricky end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right? Um, and that might be, you know, it could be your, your son or your daughter mm. or your brother or your mm. father or your mum or your dad. or You know, so mm. there's someone, someone close to you, yeah. either you yeah. or someone near mm. you that is ex- has experienced or will experience a, a complex mental illness. Mm. And that's, uh, you know, I sit on the spectrum of these things like um, I have OCD and, and sometimes, and in my experience, it, it flipped up into psychosis, but it can mm. get, you know, quite like all the way to full like schizophrenia. Further down that spectrum where it becomes, you know, you get into your more kind of like, um, you know, chronic uh, anxiety and depression and then kind of episodic anxiety and depression, mm. you know, the kind of things that you can go through a, a period of anxiety, depression, you know, have some treatment and then everything's mm. fine. It never happens again. Mm. There's so many people. Mm. And so... Yep. It happens to everyone, man. Mm. And so don't worry. Mm. It's okay. Uh, Osh, yes. what are you doing for Christmas this year? It's just around the corner. Let me, just, let me just quickly ask you very, question, very quickly. Mm. I, I, know, I know it's a very Australian thing to shorten one's name. Oh, Osha, sorry. No, no, no. Just so you know, any yeah. Maltese people watching will know. <laughs> Um, and it was Snijana from Sam Wood's season of The Bachelor that let me know. Because she giggled any time someone said, Osh, oh. is, that, is that something all right? And she goes, you should know what that means. Oh, in Maltese. Really? Yeah. What does it mean? It's one of the words that you really, really can't say on television. <laughs> oh. And it rhymes oh. with it rhymes with hunt. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. I'm never shortening a person's name ever again. So there you go. And I've had I've had emails and texts from people who go, My grandma, my Maltese grandma giggles like a schoolgirl when the people call you Osh. Oh, okay. I'm starting that again. Osha? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's the plans for Christmas this year? Um, well, uh, I am probably going to go up to Brizzo for a, you know, mm. for a moment. And then um, there's a, a massive, it's uh, Audrey's grandmother's 100th oh, birthday. Is she going to get a letter from the right. Queen? I hope she gets a letter from the Queen. Yeah, she will. Do you get to write back and say congrats on, you know, Apparently congrats on your return address. Apparently you've got to write to the Queen to get your letter from the Queen. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Okay. I don't know. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all so Someone it's, in the nursing home will sort that out. So it's all, uh, it's, it's all, she was not in the nursing home until two years ago. Oh, She was beautiful. like, boom, firing, Love 98. It. She was all over Love it. Still it. gardening. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's uh, everyone's gathering around um, and, um, for that Christmas. Yeah. As your family members, there's a there's a lady that's come out this week, Gemma Andrews, um, who's going to charge her family fifty two dollars a head to attend Christmas at their house. <laughs> Do you okay. think that's fair? Did I don't know. Is it is it in the look? I you're celebrating a holiday. Let's just talk about this. So you're celebrating a holiday mm. that is based upon the charity and goodwill of someone who said, look, there's no room at the inn. I can see you're super pregnant. I can't, you know, you can crash the night in my stable. All right? Fine with me. I wish I could put you in, but everyone's already asleep. I can't wake anyone up. Pop yourselves in there. Oops, it you next morning. Hey, you had the baby overnight. That's unreal. All right. So the actual holiday is based upon the birth of someone who prophesied you know, 
goodwill and giving as a part of his core mm. message. Mm. Even just the, 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 it's in the bloody name. Yeah. It's his name is in it. Yeah. All right? Now, I don't particularly, you know, I've, I've been to Israel a bunch of times and like, I would, I would question Gemma's, uh, uh, I would question Gemma's connection to the spirit of the season. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fifty-two yes. dollars is a bit rich. No. Thanks per head. Him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What happened to that good old Aussie? Bring your bring own your plate. own plate. Bring a plate. Yeah. Bring a plate. Yeah. <laughs> bring a plate. Do they have that in America? They yeah. They call mm. it potluck. Oh, oh yeah. Right. They yeah. call it potluck. That sounds potluck here scary. sounds a bit dodgy. It's a bit dodgy. Yeah, it sounds like a game show that I think it was a game show that Ernie Sigley hosted. Um, uh, no, I, I'd say if Gemma asked, I would probably decline her invitation. Mm. To be honest, I don't know mm. if Gemma and I could be friends. Good for her though. Have a cracking Christmas, Gemma. She but make a profit. If you get me, like I have a weird diet. All right, I'm, oh. I, I don't eat meat. I don't eat fish. I don't eat dairy. I don't eat eggs. Like, um, I don't eat chicken, you know. You'd be potluck. Nothing animal Christmas. products. So if I'm rocking up to Gemma's house mm. at Christmas, like 52 clams, yeah. Business it'll be salad. the best <laughs> vegan, this will be the best vegan Christmas dinner I'm getting. Now, I don't want a lettuce and tomato, all right? Yeah. You're going to cook me. I want proteins. I want carbohydrates. I want this to be bespoke. Thanks, Gem. I don't think she'd say yes. No. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. It's been a blast. Thanks for having me in the couch and just in the nick of time because viewers yes. possibly don't understand that there's a cat that lives here. It's I know. The <laughs> she's owner. She's meowing the, at the, the door. The, the, cat, the cat has been on the balcony the whole time and the cat's seen the clock and gone, I'm normally inside by now. <laughs> it's afternoon tea. Yeah. So, nick of time. Thanks for having me on Thank your you. show. And look, Merry Christmas, and we can't wait to watch Bachelor in Paradise when it comes out. Oh, I'm thrilled that I could be a part of, of mm. this journey into independent yeah. digital broadcasting, which is the future. Look at you, you time travellers, <laughs> making the making your own work and making it happen. Making I'm it happen. thrilled to be here. Thanks, Osha. <laughs> Good night, Australia. <laughs>